Welcome back. Well, it was a hot one across the area today. Temperatures topping out at 100 degrees for the third day in a row. Not a record, but we did set a record low. So let's get over to the key while we hit 82 this morning for our low. Previous record 81 set way back in 2023 last summer. And notice the normals this time of year. We're at our max normals. As we get into the next week or so, these numbers start coming down. So we're right in the middle of the summer. 100 degree temperatures not unusual for this time of year, but three days in a row, that's another heat wave after such big heat waves we had last summer. So maybe a little bit more of a trend of more 100 degree days in our future down the road. As for rainfall, we haven't had any so far this month for the year. We're ahead, but amazing how quickly things dry up. The gardens need water already. The grass, well, at least that's slowing down a little bit, but not by much quite yet, but uh, things will start to brown up a little bit more so if we don't get some decent rain chances over the next week or so. And right now, high pressure is still the dominant feature, keeping northerly winds aloft and at the surface going. Meanwhile, we have the upper level system associated with Debbie moving off to the north. Another upper level low way out in the Atlantic, but not a concern. But you can see overall dry conditions across the region. Debbie's still producing the threat of heavy rainfall, flash flooding and severe weather as we get into the mid Atlantic. But it's going to start accelerating and moving more quickly to the north. Meanwhile, locally here, there's not a whole lot going on as we scan all the Doppler radars, picking up on a few spotty showers out in the Gulf of Mexico. And this will be the area that we might see a few showers in the days ahead. But overall, quite across much of the tropics, but there's a new area that we're watching way out in the Atlantic, this specific area. But even as we go farther over into Africa, we're starting to see the monsoonal troughs. So you're going to get going a little bit more so, and that's going to settle the dust, and that's going to lead to more candidates for uh, weather systems to come off the coast and develop in the tropics. This one, National Hurricane Center started talking about it this morning with a 10% chance of developing. At 8 o'clock, it was 30%. At 1 o'clock this afternoon, it was at 40%. And as of 8 o'clock this evening, it's 50% now. Uh, and this is the area that we think this is going to develop in. We think this is going to stay out in the Atlantic after threatening the Caribbean and May curve. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. The model is picking up on the feature, both the latest GFS and this is the Euro picking up on the feature depression, maybe a tropical storm by the Caribbean. Then it runs through the Caribbean, maybe the southeastern Bahamas and the Euro Sea wants to make that turn to the north. We'll see if that indeed happens too early to call that. But right now we're looking pretty good for the Gulf. Here's the latest GFS model showing a well-developed system. This is what we look for model consistency somewhere around the southeastern Bahamas in about a week's time. And thereafter, we'll just have to wait and see. The next name, by the way, is going to be Ernesto. Meanwhile, while we're looking at a little bit of a front dome moving on through here, uh, coming on through, and that's going to bring our temperatures down into the mid to upper 90s. Generally clear skies across the area. Few spotty showers over by southeast Louisiana for tomorrow afternoon, maybe Saturday afternoon, uh, but we're not looking at any significant rain chances locally. At least it's going to feel better with respect to humidity, but we're still going to be pretty darn hot hitting the mid to upper 90s in the next several days ahead. And with lower humidity, that heat index won't be quite so bad for our Friday, closer to 103, maybe 105 max, and much the same as we head into Saturday with that maximum heat index in the low 100s, much better than the 110 to 115 we've seen over the last several days. So 77, 78, the overnight low, not quite as uncomfortable as it has been with more of a north-northeast wind trying to develop, but generally winds go calm for most of the night. Then tomorrow, 96 to 98, the high with lots of sunshine, that max heat index at 105. And a nice north breeze, so enjoy that. Plenty of sun this weekend. Highs in the mid to upper 90s. More mid to upper 90s next week. Maybe a few hundreds down the road with a slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm on any given day as we head into next week. But don't count on a lot of rain. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up a little later on.